Is God a racist? I want to know. If we own this thing and we're going to stay on this thing. Is God a racist? Yo, why is everybody in the book when they show the images? Why is it only white people? I mean, I'm just saying. We know Michelangelo painted the picture to keep it real. So, feel where I'm going with this. Is God a racist? Why is he, yo, all the uh, 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 black people in the Bible is cursed. Ham, the curse, the uh, ham, let's go over that real quick. See, I should have pulled that out. We'll go over that again, but we'll go over it now too. Now, uh, Canaan gets a uh, curse because his father Ham sees Noah on the boat exposing himself. You know, what you exposing yourself in the first place for, I don't know. Why are you walking around drunk and naked anyway? But, so he gets, his son gets a curse. And all of the African tribes, the Kush, the uh, the Kushites, the uh, Mizraim, that's Egypt, uh, Canaan, uh, that's uh, 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 Israel, uh, 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 and Pum, which is Somalia. So all the Africans in the Bible get cursed. And then he's seeing plagues, them diseases. To this. See, they living out the Bible, and y'all don't see it. They living it out now, right now. So they seeing plagues to all the Egyptian tribes. Locusts eat up all the crops. You know, they get uh, skin boils. Now, we know this is a fantasy story. Ain't no, the ancient Africans never talked about none of this. I want y'all to understand it. We just dealing with, is God a racist? Because in the book, you know, he always, you know, uh, Killing the African people, murdering the African people. That's what I, that's the only way you can say it. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Then God got a chosen people called the Jews, and they all white people. Even though they'll say they ain't white people, y'all white people, man. I mean, I ain't gonna try to define y'all for y'all. Whatever y'all say, y'all, y'all Jews. And but y'all ain't I say y'all ain't white, y'all say y'all ain't black. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna let y'all deal with that. But is God a racist? Because if I said that I had I took one of my children, which is the uh Jewish people, and say, you know, y'all the chosen, <laughs> even though y'all wasn't put here first, and say y'all the chosen, y'all as a daddy, y'all get mad at me, man. If I took one of my kids, say she the chosen, and then my other kids, they just whoever, slaves and, you know, uh, minority, well, all them derogatory words they be using, <laughs> you know, but it's God a racist because also the, all the, for so-called having these Jews and slaves, these so-called chosen people were slaves. The spirit of death, they would have that red door. Everywhere I go, I be seeing that red door, man. Y'all got to look for that red door. Because the red door is where they had to paint uh, red on their door. So when they was giving childbirth, we talking about the ancient Africans now. When they were giving childbirth, you know, uh, they child would have a... a, a a successful birth, you know what I mean? Because all the firstborn of the ancient Africans was supposed to die. The firstborn sons and all that was supposed to die for so-called having the Jews and slave, slave, which is not true, but that's a different, we did a different video for a different day, different story for a different day. But is God a racist? I mean, at, at this point in the video, look, look at all of what I already done said. Now, God also says, you know, slave obey your master. 
which means he sanctioned slavery. And, you know, black people went through that. You know, he said, we, even you look in the Bible, it say we was in the bottom of the uh, slave ships and chains, took it to an unknown land. You see what I'm saying? And one day, uh, Mama Africa would call us, her, her daughters back to home. And, you know, the kings and queens would be pulled out of Egypt and Ethiopia. All of that. See, I know them scriptures too. You see what I'm saying? But God, you know, seemed like he don't like black people. Let's just be real. How this guy going to sit back and watch all your firstborn die? Going to send locusts to you. The father of the African tribe. Some kind of way is semi-homosexual or something. Looking at no naked. What the kind of... That was... Ugh. You see what I'm saying? And then, you know, uh, all the firstborn, you know, the locusts is back. And it's just... And the flood. And he just... I mean, he, uh, he kills a million Ethiopians. Killed 42 children. He just murdering and murdering and murdering and killing all through the Bible. But the people, and then he orders <coughs> uh, 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 Esau and the Asiatics to take the land from the Canaanites, which are ancient uh, uh, Ethiopians. They live in Northern Africa. That's why the brother, the uh, Hebrew Israelite brothers say Northeast Africa. Some of the, uh, 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 you know, the scholars say uh, uh, Western Asia, which I don't agree with that because it's attached to Africa. It's mountains up there, man. You can't, you got to come up over the mountains, man. And tectonic plates, that's all Africa, man. And the Bible document that. So that's why I say it's certain things in the Bible that it document, like it's saying, they call it the Middle East. We see that the land had been took. Y'all seen, go look at the video I done. You see the land was took from the ancient Africans. And this was part of that curse. But then God curses. The curse was the Canaan that he would be black. Insinuating that one time he was white. You see what I'm saying? But he would be black. The black as a night. His, his lips would be swelled. Eyes would grow red. Hair would uh, be twisted in knots and kinks. You see what I'm saying? And they, they will be shamefully elongated. I don't know what that means. But it ain't shamefully. That's a blessing. And the girls will be uh, 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 cursed with, with big, big butts and with, with love, fornication, fornication. I almost know it to the T. And would, and would lie and... and, and and would never lie to their masters and would never tell the truth. That's that's it to the T. Now that's the curse. Uh 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 niggas say the curse of him, but it's the curse of Cain. Because they kept cursing this first begotten son. So is God a racist. I mean, for real, look at all that. And all of this black people you praying to this God all day. And we the last in everything in this country. In the in America. The islands too. When I say America, I'm talking about the whole of the Western Hemisphere. When I say America, that's who rule the majority of this planet at the this point. But it's God a racist. Because it seemed like even in the book, we can't never win. He always cursing us or killing us. In some type of way. Y'all need to check him, man. Y'all need to check him, man. That's facts. So y'all like, subscribe, hit the little button. Hit the little button, like, subscribe, man. Cause we got to keep talking. We got to we got to continue on with this conversation. Very, very important to keep having this dialogue. You know? Is God a racist, man? That's the question, and I'll be right back. Jop out.